Cinema 5D at IBC 2017 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Zeiss, turning imagination into a motion picture. Tilta, arm your camera. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D, and I'm here with Alex from Edios, or Grass Valley, actually. Grass Valley. Yeah, Grass yes. Valley, and you are the product manager of Edios, Correct. which is an extremely popular uh, editing software, mostly in Japan, but of course it's a worldwide product. Yes. Um, can you just tell me a little bit about the history of Edios for the people that actually maybe might not know the software? Oh. So historically, our company, or actually before we became Grass Valley, we were a company called Canopus, where we made video I.O. boards uh, for video professionals. And uh, at first we were making plugins for Adobe Premiere, but eventually we thought about making a video editing software for ourselves and well came Edios. So that was 12 years ago. Now we're at uh, version 9. It's being used widely, not just in Japan, but uh, major broadcast stations in the US, also Europe, also in China, Korea. Edius is very popular as a broadcast and professional editing software. Actually, you told me before that in Japan, almost like 90% of the market is still using Edios. This is an amazing figure. Is that correct? Yeah. So I mentioned that you will find Edios in probably 90% of the stations. Maybe they're not uh, all using it for uh, the main editing, but one uh, very powerful function in Edios is the support for various uh, video formats, from consumer cameras to professional cameras, you can bring in any sorts of clips into one timeline and export at any format. So a lot of stations find this as a very powerful tool for importing like a uh, drone video or like a uh, iPhone video or very, uh, various videos that come into your station and put it in your station's house format. And this is all done by software, you don't need a yes. special hardware yes. for it? Um, Edius, all, Edius runs purely on software. It does not need any specialized hardware to run. Also, it relies, uh, it is basic, basically working on the CPU. So you do not need like say super graphic cards or like, uh, how do you say, special equipment to do basic, uh, basic editing. Nice. Um, now, I think you announced, or actually I know that you announced during IBC, a newer version, Edios uh -huh. 9. Yes. And what is new in the latest version? Yes. So the biggest uh, new function in Edios 9 is better support for HDR. So now Edios supports BT2020 color space as the project setting. So before we only went up to Rec 709, but now we support the BT2020, uh, basically HDR color space. So you can import various clips, like uh, like uh, clips with HDR, like Sony's S-Log or Canon's Canon Log or Sony's V-Log, into the Edius timeline, keep the gamma curve, keep the color space. You can also alter the colors using our primary color correction filter, and you can export in HDR format, like uh, XAVC with uh, HDR information for broadcast or MP MP4 10-bit for YouTube. So we support a total HDR in, sustain HDR out workflow now in version 9. So this is the main difference between the previous version yes. and the current one. Yeah, it's the biggest. Also, we added support for more camera formats because that is also one of our key uh, functionalities. We added support for the Canon C200 Cinema Raw Light format. Um, also, we added uh, new um, support for more native support for uh, Cinema DNG, also DPX 10-bit. We continue to add even so uh, maybe non-broadcast but a little bit more in the cinema area uh, formats to be put on to the Edius timeline. One more interesting anecdote. I mean, we talked before, I'm a, I'm a um, Adobe Premiere user and I ask you kind of by the way if it's difficult or easy to migrate from let's say Adobe to Edios. And actually your answer was quite surprising. So since we come from, how do you say, somewhere out of the, uh, uh, how do you say, industry, we're sort of, uh, uh, so we always try to make our software to be simple to use, 
um, easy to use and straightforward. So actually one of the reasons we, you can find EDIUS in so many places is that even the non-editors can use EDIUS, like journalists or cameramen or and many people like in the US uh, news stations, one guy might need to shoot, do a, do a talk and do editing by himself. EDIUS has been very popular to those, even the non-editor people to be easy to use, easy to learn. They don't need to go through like a three day training course to learn, but uh, just if you just want to import files, edit and export, it should not take you more than two hours to learn. Um, what is your pricing policy? Because you know some software companies will uh, have a monthly subscription. Others, you know, you buy once the the software and that's enough. How do you work? So our target is to be how do you say flexible in that account. So basically, Edius is buy once, use forever. So it's not subscription. It's not how do you say, per use, uh, it's you just buy once and use forever. So that is our basic approach. For individual customers, sometimes based on request, we may provide like a site license or type of a group license for like large broadcast stations and stuff. But so we provide, how do you say, different types of packages in different types of purposes. But basically, Edius is buy once, use forever. So, yeah. so what about pricing and availability? So we have a basic version called Adius Pro at uh, 499 and we have another extended version called Adius Workgroup for 999. So basically two models. Uh, yeah. And the availability of the of the latest version, yes. the 9. So we have just announced uh, Adius 9 at the IBC. We will start shipping in November. Uh, we already have a pretty much full functional uh, version ready, so I feel we can feel the, uh, that we can fill the uh, release target. Alex, thank you very much for the information, and thank you very much for watching.